Hey everyone, this is Daniel. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about Yammer administrative role in Azure Active Directory. Now, the whole concept of Active Directory roles is not new. It's been there on Azure for a while. However, the Yammer administrative role has just released. Therefore, in this video, I'll walk you through how to go ahead and configure that Yammer Active Directory role so that it functions from a Yammer network admin standpoint. So stick around, this is very important. But first, here's my intro video. So let's get started. Now the Yammer administrative role, which is now available in Azure AD is fairly new. And as you can see, this article on the Microsoft tech community was only posted three days ago. And I actually just started noticing that in my tenant as well. Therefore, you may or may not see it in your tenant, but just watch because it will show up over there. Now, before we jump into start using it and configuring it, the one thing I do want to point out is the use of these Azure roles with privileged identity management, AKA PIM. Now, PIM is something that you may have already started using it, but you haven't. Here's what PIM allows you to do. PIM allows you to go ahead and first get your privileged account, whichever are your admin level accounts. Those can already be pre-approved for any of the roles. However, access to the roles are only activated just in time. That means that whenever you are ready to go and do any Yammer administrative work, you come over here to the privileged identity management, you go ahead and see that Yammer role which has been pre-approved and then you go and activate that. And you can activate that for any number of times. It actually goes from eight hours up to I believe 24 hours. So it does give you a good time span to go ahead and do that. And that's enough for you to go and do your admin work. And then after you're done, you don't have that admin level access. Therefore you can just continue doing all your other work as well. So the concept over here is to go and get pre-approved in privilege identity management and then use it just in time. So now that you've seen those two options over there, let's go and start configuring it. So here I am in my Microsoft Azure portal and this steps that I'm gonna show you, it's best that it is done as a global admin because they have the correct access level to go and do this level of configuration. So keep that in mind that right now I myself have logged in as a global admin. Now, what I come over here is when I come to my portal.azure.com, if you don't want to search for it, if you don't have access to it, you can go and search for that. It is called as the Azure Active Directory. You can just start typing it and it also shows up over here, Azure Active Directory. And the first thing we're going to do is verify, does this role even exist in my tenant? So now that I've logged, I mean, uh, access my Azure um, Active Directory, which is in my portal, on the left side navigation under manage, I come to roles and administrators. That's when I click on it. And then once I click on it, you will see all the roles that are available. Now Yammer starts with the Y, therefore it's way at the bottom. So I go all the way to the bottom and there you go. This is actually now one of the new ones that are available. Hence you kind of see this little, you know, green color flag, which is available over there, also label. So now when I go and click on it, this is all that I need to see to get started working on it. Now this is something you may already be familiar with because this looks exactly like your SharePoint one, Exchange one, Team, Power Platform Global, exact same concept over here, but this is it. So now let's go and start adding some users and going and start testing it. So what I'll do is I'll come over here to my add assignments and in my add assignment, I'm going to go and first add a new user. And this new user is going to be Adele. Um, Adele Vance is actually an existing user. Adele does have access to Yammer. However, Adele is not a Yammer admin. I will verify that. So over here, just to prove I've signed in as Adele over here, I'm in basicoffice.com. We'll go up to the app launcher, also known as the waffle icon. Over here, I click on it and I see Yammer. I have access to Yammer. When I click on the Yammer, you can first verify that this user over here is able to have access to Yammer, has access to all of these communities. However, when we go and click on the settings bar on the top right, we do not see the network admin settings over there. That proves that Adele does not have access to any of the existing Yammer roles. The sec next thing we will prove is I'll actually come over here straight to my Azure uh, ID. I'm gonna I'm switched over to my global admin. I'll come over here to my Active Directory. I'm going over here to my users. I'm gonna do a quick search for Adele and I'll go ahead and type that in. In fact, she's already on the top over here, so I'll click on Adele and I'll go ahead and take a look at the assigned roles. And in the assigned roles over here, you will see that Adele doesn't have any of the roles assigned. And this proves that currently Adele doesn't have 
any other roles so that this will all work away. Again, this is not necessary. Adele doesn't have to be completely blank. Adele could be a SharePoint admin. Adele could be, you know, another admin and also be given a Yammer one. However, for the sake of this demo, I wanted to make sure that we had no other access, like Adele could not be a global admin level access and that could cause some confusion. Uh, this is Adele's first role that we are signing over here. Now there's actually two places I can do this. They are both are in Azure AD, but what I could do is right now, since I'm already in Adele's profile, in the assigned roles section, I can go on the top, it says plus add assignments. I can click on that and then right over here, where it says select role. There in the drop down, you can basically go and do a search. It's searched by your role. I click on Yammer and I can go ahead and select that. That's first place to do it. I'll basically select it and click on next. That's the first way to do it. All the way you can do is actually you can go all the way out again. You can go to Azure Active Directory or there you can go ahead and select the roles and administrators. In the roles and administrators, you can either search for it or we know Yammer was the last. So I scroll all the way to the bottom. I click on that and now here I can go ahead and add the assignment and now it has switched over. Since we are already in the role, what I have to do is actually select the member. So there's two ways to do it. If you're already in the members profile, search for the role. But if you are in the role, search for the member. It's literally that simple. So here we are. I'm going to go and now select for Ad, um, Adele and I'm going to select it. And then over here, it's already added, which is great. So I'm going to go and click on next. Now, here is the one that I'm going to go and say it is eligible, which is perfect because I want to go and make that person eligible, not all active, just eligible. Now, here is something that you also want to keep in mind, because if you select permanent, permanently eligible, Adele will always have permanent Yammer administrative role. And you really don't want to do that. This is fine for a non-production tenant for a production when you don't want to do this. So therefore, for that, you go and uncheck this box. And this is where you schedule how you want it. Now you can do it as a 12 month increments. You can do that as 16 months, two years, however you want that. But for my information over here, I'm going to go and save that as a 12 month increment because who knows after 12 months, I may have to recertify. Recertify means go ahead and confirm, Hey, is Adele going to be your Yammer admin? Not, you know, you got to recertify that. So I'll go and click on assign. And then this is pretty much done. It's going in and now saying that it's successfully assigned the role to Yammer administrator for Adele. Now what you can do is you can basically come to the eligible ones and it will show you that, hey, Adele is assigned over here. It'll go ahead and you know you can click on refresh. And once it is assigned, it's telling me what the start and the end time is. And then after that, it when you go to the active assignments, you make sure that it's not active. This is also a second way to verify, hey, did I actually select that permanent checkbox or did I uncheck it? Well, if you had selected permanent, then it would automatically be active as well. So now we've gone ahead and done two things. We've gone ahead and actually assigned Adele the role. And now we've also done this through the privileged identity management, which is the PIM. So now let's sign in as Adele and go and start using this. Then we'll also remove it and just verify how this Yammer admin role along with privileged identity management is working. All right, so I've signed in now as Adele in the same tenant, just to verify this is the account over here. And now I can go to the top left on the waffle or the app launcher. I can click on Yammer. And when I click on Rammer, we'll go to the settings on the top right, which is right over here. And I see that I only have these options. I do not have the network administrative setting option over there, right? That is what we're going to prove right now. So one of the things I got to do is now is I actually need to go to the Azure Active Directory. So I'll now click on that and I can actually click on all apps. You might already have access to it over here, but if you don't, it's completely fine. Just open up another tab and search for portal.azure.com. And you may already have a new URL, so it will actually auto correct, I mean, auto complete it. But if you don't, search for portal.azure.com and it will take you right here. Again, if this is the first time that you're doing it and it's the first time that you've accessed it, you can start typing it for Azure AD PIM or privileged PRI and you'll see it right on the top of the services over here. Click on it. Once you've done that, now when you go back to the portal.azure.com, you will actually see that in your recently ones selected. So here I am in my, my controls, I should see the one that I'm already eligible for. Here's the key things that you need to see for. First of all, the fact that it shows up over here means that you have an access to it. The second thing is that you should see that it is only active and you've got a membership within end time. That's the key thing, all right? So it's not extended, it is activate. And this is how you go in and activate. Second thing you can do, just in case, if you've forgotten that, hey, did I already go ahead and get myself eligible for the day? It's completely fine. Come back over here, toggle over to the active assignments tab. And there you go over here, nothing, there's, the, the, there's no results, which means that you don't have access to that. 
this is also a good place to come and check because sometimes you might have multiple roles and you might actually forget which roles are active and which roles are inactive. Always a good place to come and check that over here. All right, so now I've gone ahead and done this. I'm gonna go ahead and now activate. Remember, we which is verified that Adele does not have the network admin. Now this is a place where you can go ahead and get at least eight hours. Remember, we set the default, we just selected the default, we didn't make any changes, so eight hours is what I got. You can actually extend that to a longer period of time. Now you have to put in a reason over here. Now reason is something that you can just put in a text, or if you have an internal ticketing system, put in that ticketing number. That's also a great reason to put over there. So I'm just gonna put that as an example, and I'm gonna say activate. Example is basically just a text that I'm putting in. You've got to put something in. So you cannot hit activate, it will give you an error. So this is the three stage process that it goes through. It's processing your request and activating your role, validating that your activation is successful, and then the activation will be completely successful. These three stages, there is nothing you can do. You have to just wait over here, and basically, you know, once, it's once the three stages are done, it'll go and say it's gonna start refreshing in five seconds. This is really neat because the refreshing in five seconds means it's actually doing the signing out and signing in back for you, which is pretty neat because once in a while, eons ago, we actually had to do that. We had to sign off and sign back in, but now it automatically does that. But like I said, this is a point where you have to wait. There is really nothing else you can do over here. Now, like I said, while I was talking, it went through the stage two and the stage three. Sometimes it goes faster, sometimes it goes slower. Again, there's nothing you can do. But there you go, now the refresh has happened. Now that the refresh has happened, let's go and take a look over here. See, the back over here in the Azure AD roles, we're going through the privileged identity management, the eligible assignments looks the exact same. So while I'm on the eligible assignments tab, I really cannot tell if this is active or not, because you can see even activate is there. You know, that, that's not grayed out, it's still there. The only way I can confirm is by going to the active assignments and there I can see, ah, it is active and I can deactivate it. So keep in mind that this is the place where you can go and verify as well. All right, so now that I'm over here, I'm gonna switch over to the other tab, which is for the Yammer one. I'll click on that again. And here, I'm gonna go back and click on the settings, the gear settings over there. And see, it hasn't already automatically taken effect. There is a little bit of a lag time. And again, that's not so much as what's happening away. It's completely based on your tenant. Sometimes there's a lag time, sometimes there's not. I personally have noticed that within the first one minute, it shows up over here. And what you have to do is basically refresh it. So once you select the refresh time and you come back over here, there you go, edit network admin settings shows up. Remember, this was not there before. I just proved it to you. But now within a minute's time, we went ahead and got that role. So let's go and take a look over here. So in the edit network admin settings, this is now, it takes you back to your admin role over here. You might already be familiar with this because this is how you've always come over here. But here's something new. Now that I come to the admin section, in the admin sections, you see Adele over there. We didn't have to manually search over here. We didn't have to go ahead and you know bump that up from the uh, bump that up from the regular network admin to the verified admin. None of that. This automatically went ahead and did that over here. Also, to prove a point, when we went and this did this, it automatically bumped it up to a verified admin. And I'll prove that to you. I'm going to switch back over again here to my uh, global admin. And in my global admin, I'm actually gonna go log in as a Yammer person. So I'm in the Yammer service. Again, this is me as a global admin. You can see it's called as the mod administrator. I'll click on the gear settings. The global admin by default has the access to the network admin settings. And I click over there and I click on admins. And there you will also see Adele, but you see Adele is a verified admin. Because the fact that I see revoke verified admin, you can tell that this automatic Yammer administrative role giving process that is available automatically bumps the user to a verified admin level access, which actually that is what you need for this level of roles features that person is gonna need, all right? So I just had to prove that point to you. All right, so I'm gonna move this away, away here. And now we can see that once Adele has got her access, Adele can do everything that a verified admin can do. You know, things such as creating the communities, doing all the admin level stuff that is required, all right? So I'm not gonna spend any time on that, but here we've proved that we were able to go ahead and assign Adele as the Yammer admin using the admin role with privileged identity management. Now, let's go and reverse it. What I mean by that is I'm gonna go back to my My Roles. In my My Roles, say that I'm done, okay? Me and as an Adele, I'm done. I didn't need the entire hours. I was just done with one hours. And me, as a good systems administrator, I'm gonna go ahead now deactivate my role. So when I click on my deactivate, it is gonna actually go through this process. I'm gonna say deactivate. Something to keep in mind though, this is a very one. It says the activation duration is too short. 
minimum required is five minutes. What that means that when you've been assigned a role, you absolutely have to have that role for a minimum of five minutes until you can go and deactivate that. So that's actually a very important point that you need to be aware of. So let's go and wait for that five minutes. All right, so the five minutes have passed. I'm back over here in Azure in the privileged identity management for Yammer. And I'm gonna click on deactivate. Now I click on deactivate, I gotta click on deactivate again. And now it's gonna go and go through the deactivating process. Again, deactivating process also is a three stage process. And then once it's done, it's gonna refresh it. it, takes five seconds for that. And now it's gone ahead and refreshed it. Now that it refreshes, it brings you back again to these three tabs and you're by default on the eligible assignments. But if I scope into the night, right, which is the active assignments, you see that nothing is active right now, which means that it has successfully deactivated that role. However, the ultimate test is we go to a Yammer one, and this is what I had before, is I could actually first access the Yammer admins and the network admins, and I could see all of this. Now, if I go and click on refresh, it doesn't automatically or immediately take that out. I have noticed that there is a little bit of delay over here. Now, if you are the person who's always gonna deactivate your role in Azure AD and then come in Yammer just to verify, then yes, this is what you'll see. However, if you've deactivated and then you've gone ahead and started doing other stuff over there, then honestly, you should not be too concerned about this because now that I come back over here and if I had refresh, this is what I see. See, I don't see the admin level settings. All I see is the list of existing admins right now. And guess what? My name is not over here. Also to prove a point, if I come back in as my global admin and I switch over to my admins tab for Yammer, you see Adele's name is no longer listed over here. So that is proof that, hey, Adele has completely been removed using the Yammer administrative role with privileged identity management. So as a quick recap, we were able to use the Yammer administrative role along with privileged identity management keeping in mind that that Yammer role that it gives is the verified admin, the highest level admin, it automatically goes and assigns it. And when you go ahead and deactivate it, there is a little bit of a lag until that user is actually removed from the Yammer side. Again, it's a very negligible one, but there is a little bit of a lag over there. So hopefully this video was helpful. And as always, keep using Yammer. Hey everyone, hopefully you found this video useful. And if you did, can you help me help you? Can you subscribe? To this YouTube channel because remember I provide fresh content on a weekly basis and it's 100% free. So if you have subscribed thank you so much and pass the word but if you haven't subscribe click on the bell notification and let the learning begin.